So here's a preview of the Pydeck 0.2 release. Uh, we've got a few changes from the last release that you might notice. Uh, we've put the touchscreen buttons to the left and the right instead of up above, so you now have more uh, screen space for the library. You'll notice that each of the files has a BPM on the left, and this is shown up in the top here when um, the track is playing in, in real time. So if I uh, play this uh, CDJ, I've got hooked up here. Let's hit the play button. So here's our BPM figure. So yeah, as you can see, it's changing in real time uh, with the uh, speed of the uh, disc, whether that's a um, timecode CD that you've burned or timecode vinyl. Got a few other uh, buttons here. You've got a sort button on the right, which uh, switches the tracks between uh, sorting by BPM, sorting by artist name, uh, or by the playlist. And that just cycles around. You'll see the um, BPMs are actually color coded, so the uh, higher the BPM, the uh, color changes. Give you a sort of code there. Uh, we've also got a bypass button down here, which um, only works if your sound card actually has a pass through. But what it does is um, disconnects the uh, analog to digital converter and the digital to analog converter inside the chipset, so that you don't get any um, time code. Um, sort of weirdness going on when you switch to um, an analog input such as a vinyl re record um, So you can play through with your um, with your regular vinyl uh, if you wish and uh, uh, That's all for now. So um, yeah, look out for the Pydeck 0.2 release coming soon from uh, Pydeck.com on a github slash Pydeck as well. Bye